Welcome, everybody, to this month's Changemaker in the Spotlight interview for the Association for Vertical Farming. My name is Chef, together with Henry. I'm going to interview uh, Stuart Lambie from Grodan, a Dutch company. Welcome, Stuart. Thanks very much, Jeff. Good to see you. My name is Stuart Lambie, as you already mentioned. Um, I've been uh, in the horticulture business for just over 30 years now. Um, a lot of that time with Grodan, actually. Uh, my background is education, horticultural science, uh, and then I've worked, as I say, in the industry for quite a long time. Uh, Grodan, maybe your viewers know a little bit more about Grodan than they know about me, um, but Grodan's been around in the, the soilless cultivation world selling growing media for just over 45 years now. Um, and we're at the, yeah, we're the biggest uh, supplier of mineral wool substrates in the world and we sell in over 60 countries worldwide. I looked first of all into the association and read your vision. Uh, which is to facilitate the production of food, uh, provide green jobs in an environmental way. Um, yeah, that very much fitted with our thinking in Grodan, um, because our, our goal really is to position ourselves um, to facilitate the industry, to use less water, to use less fertilizers, uh, and to produce healthy food for an increasingly urban population. So you do see our products from time to time, uh, in the vertical farming uh, uh, systems. Uh, we have distributors around the world um, who supply those to uh, vertical farms uh, and other, in fact, some of the members, I guess, of, of the AVF. Um, we are, we have been involved uh, with, uh, well, let's just say a well-known um, lighting company um, a little bit uh, in the development of their vertical farming system, at least supplying the growing media to that system. Um, but that's something we want to, to look at more closely for the future and, and see exactly where we want to go with that. We're still learning about that, to be honest. And that's, that's also a reason to be a member of your association is, you know, we don't know the answers today. Uh, what is the ideal substrate for vertical farming applications? And, well, there is no one vertical farming application, so right. probably the substrate needs will, will differ depending on the systems. Of course, some systems use no substrate, so yeah, that's that's clear. Um, so I think that that's a reason for us to be involved in the association is to learn what the needs of your members and, and other vertical farms are, and try and bring that into our product development. If we if we find out that our standard materials are not up to the job or not quite right for the job in a, in a vertical farming sen setting, uh, then we would be looking to, to develop products which would be suitable. One thing I hope the association might do in future years is start reaching out to the retail sector more, um, helping to educate the retail sector about the sustainability benefits of soilless cultivation, uh, and obviously vertical farming in particular. Um, so that's one, one area. I think another important area is to raise awareness and, and start to talk to policymakers um, about vertical farming systems um, to help them set the, a regulatory framework mm. which will stimulate the development of the industry. Um, one other thing which I, I occurred to me, which I think would be a great thing for uh, vertical farming, the association to do, uh, would be to start looking at integrating renewable energy sources into vertical farming. I think mm -hmm. energy consumption is probably that's your most visible challenge, I think, as a, a vertical farming industry is, is energy consumption. And when you can tie vertical farming in an urban setting to renewable energy, then I think you have a great uh, story to tell. Yeah, I'm also a big fan of integrating it with uh, renewable energy. Like in the cities, we have this enormous amount of biomass produced by us, by ourselves. Yeah. <laughs> and, so, yeah. and, it's, and, and it goes all to waste by now. We even put energy into it to clean all the, the waste we have. Yeah. So and that you, can, be, and you uh, can recover the phosphate at the same time. True. So there are a lot of possibilities there. And yeah. I hope we can, one day, or maybe in the near future, we can build a vertical farm or build facilities to uh, to apply that and to yep. integrate it with the greenhouses.
well, we as a company have a, a goal to to reach a point where we can recycle 100% of everything we produce. Fantastic. Uh, we're not there yet. Uh, that, that's that's quite a big challenge, of course. Yeah. Um, in the Netherlands today, and in, well, in the Benelux countries, we do recycle 100% of everything we sell. And across other European countries, we offer recycling possibilities to around about 70, 75% of our clients. Um, so recycling is, yeah, that's the most visible challenge for us as a substrate manufacturer, but that's something we, we're working on and, and expanding that into other countries as, as we go along. In terms of Grodan, we, we don't see ourselves, yeah, we're a Dutch company, but we're, our, our, our playground is the world. Sure. So, um, but yeah, okay, in the Netherlands, well, certainly in parts of the Netherlands, you have a very dense uh, population uh, concentrated in one corner of the country, uh, and you have a, you know, a limited amount of free land area for production of vegetables. Of course, it's a huge vegetable producer, a huge exporter. Um, so I still think there's a place in, in uh, urban areas for, for a vertical farming uh, concept. Um, but as I say, I think our, our focus in terms of vertical farming as a company is, is global. And there, there we see huge opportunities to, not only with vertical farming, to be honest, but conventional soilless production is to really reduce the use of uh, water and fertilizer uh, and produce you know, healthy vegetable produce close to the consumer, close to cities or, or in cities. Well, just going back to your, your last change maker, just let you know, Grodan's already been in space, so... Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're well, tell step, us about that. We're one step ahead of him. Well, I, yeah, I believe uh, Grodan's been used before in, in uh, some NASA experiments, oh. and uh, yeah, so that, but that's kind of history. Anyway, yeah. Okay, <laughs> but the future... Um, yeah, well, I think for us in the future, um, as a new member to the AVF, I think the first step is to start participating in some of the events you guys organize, uh, building a network in the industry because it's a new industry and we are very new to that industry. Mm. Uh, it's still not our core business by any stretch of the imagination. So, yeah, we need to build a network there and, and start to understand, as I said earlier, start to understand the, the product needs and the service needs uh, of vertical farms. Um, I think one important thing, and your last change maker also touched on this, he, he talked about um, green expertise and bringing green expertise to the industry. I think there's a big challenge for vertical farming to attract uh, good growers and, and people with uh, technical knowledge. Well, you know, we've got more than 45 years of technical knowledge and and we're not just a substrate manufacturer. You know, we have people out there in the in the market providing technical crop advice, consulting services to to growers. So I think we can bring that to the to the party uh, to help the industry. Yeah, that's fantastic, Stuart, and that's really the vision we have of the future as well. It's it's great that that Grodan has taken the step to join us. We really envision that vertical farming is an opportunity to build a new standard for industry, especially green industry, where it's built upon collaboration and um, and really sharing ideas and best practices for the the sake of sustainable development for all of us and yeah. you know it's such an exciting technology but we still have a long way to go so we're really looking forward to uh, to continue collaboration with with you and and with the Grodan group um, Grodan you can find them at uh, www.grodan.com if you look at their news section you can see their recent press release about joining the Association for Vertical Farming you can also find them on Twitter, um, at Grodan, and they have a great LinkedIn group that you can follow. So thank you, Stuart, so much for your time. Okay, my pleasure. Good to see you both. Thank you very much.